Good morning, everybody. Today we have a couple of rock activities. So we're going to have a story called you, If You Find a Rock. The pictures are by Barbara Hirsch Lumber, and the words are by Peggy Christian. If you find a rock, a nice flat rounded rock, that sits just right in the crook of your finger, then you have a skipping rock. You toss it out in the water just so and see it trip across the surface, making a chain of spreading rings. Maybe you find a soft white rock, a rock that feels dusty in your fingers. Then you have a chalk rock and you use it to make pictures on the pavement. Or you might find a big mossy rock by the side of a long steep trail. Then you have a resting rock and as you sit down you feel the cool moss squish beneath you. Then again, you might find a rock with a stripe running all the way round it. Trace the line with your finger. It must circle all the way. You have a wishing rock, and you whisper what you want before you throw it. If you find a rock, a big rock, by the edge of the water, then you have found a splashing rock. When it hits the surface, the water jumps out of the way, raining back down on your outstretched hands. The bigger the rock, the wetter you get. Maybe you find a pile of small rounded pebbles. Then you have found sifting rocks. And you can scoop up handful, a handful and let them slide slowly through your fingers. Or you might find a rock whose water smooth surface catches your eye. It feels easy in your hand when you rub it. Then you have found a worry rock. You rub it between your fingers and your troubles are smoothed away. Then again, you might find a rock sitting in a grassy field. Push it over. You have found a hiding rock. And in the cool, dark underside live all kinds of things that creep and crawl and hide out of sight. If you find a rock, a great rock that towers over you, then you have found a climbing rock. Hold on with your toes and fingers. Grip hard as you stretch up and pull until you reach the top, where you feel much grander than you did on the ground. Maybe you will find a twisting line of rocks sticking up out of a creek. Then you have found crossing rocks which wait to meet your feet as you pass over the water, rushing away all around you. Or you might find a rock with a print of something else, a leaf or a shell. Then you have found a fossil rock, and you feel the shape of something that lived long, long ago, when the rock was young. Then again, you could find a small rounded rock right in front of your toe as you go down the sidewalk. You have found a walking rock and you kick it ahead of you and let it lead you home. If you find a rock, a rock that's not a skipping rock or a chalk rock or a resting rock or a wishing rock, that's not a splashing rock, or a sifting rock, or a worry rock, or a hiding rock. That's not even a climbing rock, or a crossing rock, or a fossil rock, or a walking rock. 
but you like it anyway, because it reminds you of a place or a feeling or someone important, then you have found a memory rock. And sometimes those are the best rocks of all. The end.